Hello again, it's Catherine White, First Aid. Welcome to another Trainer Tuesday. Today's topic is heat stroke. We're going to look at what it is, what it looks like, and what we can do to help. Heat stroke is caused when the area in our brain which controls our temperature fails. This means the body is unable to cool down when it becomes too hot and can become dangerously overheated. It's caused by things like being out in the sun too long, especially if it's hot weather, if we've got high fever when we're poorly, non-prescription drugs and often follows heat exhaustion. The aim for our casualties is to cool them down as quickly as possible and get them off to hospital. What to look out for? So there are many different signs and symptoms. Your casualty might not be displaying all of them. They may just be displaying a couple of them. So look out for headache, dizziness, discomfort, restlessness, confusion, unusual behaviour for them. Their skin might become hot, flushed and dry. You may see a rapid deterioration in their level of consciousness. If you're able to take their pulse, you might feel a strong bounding pulse and their body temperature will be above 40 degrees centigrade. They can also become unresponsive or unconscious and they may experience seizures. So what can we do to help? So number one, take them out of the hot place, so into the shade, into the cool. Number two, remove any unnecessary clothing. Number three, call 999 if this is a medical emergency. And number four, try and cool them down rapidly. So if you can, wrap them in a cool, wet sheet. If you're not able to do that, sponge the skin with cold water or fan the skin. Maybe you've got access to cold packs. So wrap them in a cloth and place them in the armpits around the neck. Cool them down. Once they've cooled down, if they've been in a cool wet sheet, take that off, replace it with a dry sheet. But do keep an eye on them. Make sure they remain cool. So you may need to repeat that cooling process while you wait for the ambulance to arrive. Keep an eye on your casualty. So hope that helps. See you next time.